Hey guys, Viper here, and uh, you may be wondering what are we doing because I'm using a face cam for the first time in what seems like a pretty long time, but today guys, I have some exciting news. We have our first quote-unquote sponsor of the channel, which is a Fine Fine Guys, and basically they sent me out this bad boy of a microphone, which I'm going to go review for you guys, and basically do the unboxing, show you how to go set up with OBS, how to record Roblox using OBS, then at the end guys, I'm going to go and show you all the unique features that this microphone has to offer. So uh, let's not wait guys, let's get right into it. Now guys, getting into this unboxing, as you guys can see, we have a very first layer that more or less just slides right on off, guys. Now, right underneath this is we have the whole case technically for the microphone, which you can easily just pull off one side. So the side of the fine fine on it, all you have to do is slide that off. And as we open it up, guys, we have two pieces of paper, one just for the company, and one is just a little bit of a owner's manual or user's guide, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, but you know, who really reads those? Um, so we're just going to go get right on into this and the foam for the packaging is actually really good it actually fits the microphone now as we go and open it up as you guys can see it feels like a pretty bulky microphone to be honest guys and to be fair it almost actually weighs as much as the microphone I am using right now and as you can see looks really nice looks really clean and there are a few buttons on it which I'll be going over later on in the video which I have some pretty cool features to them as you guys can see now, moving on into the next part is we have a box which basically holds the power cable which you plug into the microphone, then the other end plugs into a USB port which I'll be showing you how to do. Now guys, this last piece is basically what you can use to more or less go and plug into a microphone arm or a boom arm, whatever you guys really want to go and call it. All you do is you just screw it on into the middle of the microphone and once that's on, you can go and screw it into your boom arm and since it already comes with an adapter, you do not have to worry about buying your own and basically that is literally everything that comes with this microphone and if you want to get a pop filter, sadly you will have to buy one yourself. So just to show you guys how to go and connect your microphone to the PC, it is really simple. Now in the black box that comes with the microphone is basically the whole power supply and stuff, or at least the wire for it I guess. But basically what you want to do is you want to take the mini USB end and plug it into the bottom of the microphone. Now once you're done with that, what you want to do next is take the other end, which is a USB one, and go and plug it into one of the USB ports on your PC. And that is basically all you have to do to connect the microphone to your PC guys. Really simple and really fast to set up. So guys, for this entire next portion of the video, I'm going to be using the Fine Fine K690 microphone just to show you how good the sound quality is, and this will not be edited whatsoever. I just basically adjusted all the settings, so there should be no background noise whatsoever uh, crossing my fingers, guys. But um, the first thing you want to do is to make sure your microphone is connected to OBS. So if you go down to your microphone one, you want to click this gear icon, then go to properties. Then if you are not on the microphone Fine Fine K690, make sure to go click it. Hit OK, and the microphone should be set up at this point, which you can go and change the volume on the back of the microphone, as well as within OBS as well, to make sure you don't get too much static in the background. Now, moving on into the actual OBS tutorial on how to actually go and set it up. Um, for at least the video, I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. Um, it also works if you have a 1280 by 720 monitor, whatever works the best for you. Those are normally the ones that YouTube at least uses. Then right below that, you have the downscale filter, which I have 36 samples. It's the best quality for me at least. Then the most important part is you want to have a common FPS values be at 60, just so it records at a constant 60 FPS and doesn't change whatsoever. Now, quickly going into the output, you want to make sure you are um, the output mode is on advanced. Go to recording real quick, then you can go and copy down all these settings real quick. Um, the main thing about it is you want to make sure your encoder is on an NVIDIA one. As long as you do have one, it's the best one to use. Then for just the rest of this, if you want to, you can change the preset for the quality. You could put, probably put it down to quality or like max performance. Whatever is the best for your PC. Then again, I have a high-end one, so I tend to use like a lot of, you know, taxing options to get the best vid um, videos possible. Then I'm pretty sure for the audio tracks, just to explain those real quickly, is within the audio itself, I have one set to my desktop audio and two is set to my microphone. So when I go and actually edit the video in like post-processing, I can actually go and edit them separately without having them overlaying each other and basically editing them both at the exact same time. Now, just to go and quickly explain that or how you could do it is you can just go and click on literally any of these gear icons and go to advanced audio properties. And as you can see, I have my uh, webcam audio, my mic audio, 
audio, my desktop audio. Now, what I could probably do is I should probably uncheck off all the webcam ones because I don't use it even though the, I, well, it's basically already muted so it doesn't really matter whatsoever. Now, for my microphone audio, I basically have it set to one, then my desktop I have it set to two, then it doesn't really matter if six is checked at all. I'm not recording using the sixth audio track. But it basically just separates the audio files so you can edit them later on. But that's basically everything you need to know about setting it up. Now, to quickly go and show you how to add a source to record Roblox, what you want to do is, I'm pretty sure the scenes and the sources should be blank when you first download OBS. So in the sources part, you want to go down to this plus mark, hit it, then you want to go over to a game capture, and you can title it whatever you want, and since I'm playing Roblox, I'm just going to type in Roblox. We're going to go hit OK. Make sure it is creating a new one so you don't delete any previous ones you may have. So hit OK. Then since the name's already in use, um, I just gonna, I'm just going to put another X just in case. So hit OK. Then what you want to do is you want to go down to the mode and hit um, Capture Specific Window. Then on the window part, you want to go and select Roblox, which when I click this, is going to immediately overlay it uh, above the video, so real quick. But to explain it, I'm going to click this, then everything else here is basically your preference. I normally like um, to capture my cursor just in case. Then you're just going to go and hit OK. So I'm just going to click Roblox, hit OK. Then I'm just going to uncheck this real quick just so you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about. I'm going to move this right below my video just so my webcam's always over it. But basically one thing I'm going to show you is when you hit this eye, it's going to immediately throw the image on screen right now as you guys can see. Then as soon as I unclick it, it's going to make it go away. But um, yeah guys, that's basically how you go and capture your screen really fast, really simple. Uh, if you guys want me to do a more detailed video on these actual settings, maybe for maybe a lower end one or something like that, make sure to go comment that down below. But I guess that is it for a little bit of a tutorial on how to record using OBS. So let's go and get into the features of this amazing microphone, guys. So guys, in this part of the video, I just wanted to go and quickly go over all the amazing features that this microphone has to offer. And the first one is this little button up front, guys. And if you press it, it's going to make the screen light go to red. And basically what it does is it mutes the microphone. So if you're doing a live stream and you just tap it, it will no longer pick up sound. So this helps so much if you're streaming and a family member walks into your room. All you have to do is you just tap the button and it basically mutes it. Then if you untap it again, it will unmute it and it will start picking up sounds again. Now, right below that is you have your headset volume. Now, how you do this is if your headset is actually plugged into the um, actual bottom of the microphone, then you're able to go and adjust the volume that is actually going into your headset, which is so awesome to use. Sadly, mine doesn't really have that type of plug-in. So I can't really use this feature, sadly, but if your headphones do, it is so awesome just to have right then and there. Now, on the back of the microphone, we have two more dials. One is basically for the mic volume, but since my voice is naturally loud, I have mine on the lowest one. But if it's a little bit softer, you can always turn it up a bit, but it might actually put in more static. But for me, I normally have it on the lowest one. Then I also adjust my audio in OBS to make sure it picks up almost zero static already. Now, right below that is you have your pattern. So I have mine on a cardioid, which basically picks up all the volume from in front of the camera, which is basically the side with the mute button on it. Now, the one to the left, the circle one, Basically, it picks up sound from all around the microphone. Then the one on the left and right more or less picks up sound from the back and the front of it. Like, kind of like a podcast more or less. But, uh, yeah, guys, I guess that is it for all the amazing features that this microphone has. And if you're wondering how much it is, it normally sells for around a little under 100 USD. So, it's an extremely cheap mic for basically all the stuff you're getting. And it's way better than my previous Blue Snowball microphone that I actually used to use in the past. So guys, for the very last part of this video, I'm going to be going and comparing this expensive microphone to the K690, guys. Now, if you guys do have headphones, you will probably hear a difference between the two types of audios, but these will be unedited whatsoever. You will hear static in some of them, but I will try to adjust it to the best possible settings that I could just normally do right off the bat for just, like, just simple default quality, guys. So with no further ado, let's get right into it. This is a sound test for my normal microphone and already it sounds really good. Here's what it sounds like from far back. And here's what it sounds like up close and there you go guys. This is a sound test for the K690 and already it sounds pretty good. Here's what it sounds like from far back. Here's what it sounds like up close and there you go guys.
So guys, I guess that is going to be it for today's video. I showed you basically one of the best microphones to use when starting making videos as well as streaming, as well as how to go and record Roblox videos. Now, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on OBS and everything for the different types of like low-end PCs and high-end PCs, make sure to go comment that down below as well. And of course, if you guys do want to go and pick up the K690 for yourself, there will be a link at the top of the description, guys. And of course, like I said before, it does sell for around 90 US dollars or so, or at least under 100. But um, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Make sure to go and drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one.